The National Organization on Disability promotes the full participation of all people with disabilities, regardless of condition or circumstance. Despite progress in many areas over the last 30 years, eight in 10 Americans with disabilities still are not working. Disability is an uncomfortable topic. It's not one that people are readily able or even equipped to have discussions about. Corporate America loves a challenge and this will be another one for them. In 2006, NOD turned its entire focus to the issue of employment for people with disabilities. Employment is the last remaining major gap in the quality of life between people with and without disabilities in this country. Through our Harris polls, we have been able to have a, a long-term study of what's happening in the lives of people with disabilities. And the gap that has been the most stubborn and the most uh, intractable is employment. What we're looking at really are the whys and hows of the project of employing people with disabilities. What are the dynamics there? What are the opportunities? And that's the part that we step back and we say, working with an organization like NOD on the Bridges to Business program, which has a direct end benefit to employment, uh, is where we can make changes that are gonna be positives for the future of people with disabilities. Most businesses tell NOD they want to offer opportunities to people with disabilities, but some get stuck trying to get started. Employers often say to us, we don't know where to start. There are so many partners in our community and we get calls from various agencies and we don't know how to sift through them. So we help employers with that assessment. We'll go into their communities and help them find the right community partners who can give them the best talent for the jobs that they have. What Bridges to Business does is it takes the typical workforce development model and it turns it on its head. The business community is saying we want more. One such business is home improvement retailer Lowe's. In partnership with NOD and with support from the Kessler Foundation, Lowe's piloted the Bridges to Business concept at three regional distribution centers. NOD has been a catalyst for us. NOD has been a great help to us in connecting in our local communities, finding the right vocational rehab service providers, helping them learn our goals in bringing people with disabilities into our workforce, and then helping us learn about training and developing people with disabilities and finding what they can do instead of what they can't do. It's been a tremendous relationship for us. My name is Jonathan Epperson, and I'm a team member associate here at Lowe's. I was born with a hearing loss. I find it hard sometimes to hear people. I don't think companies realize um, what good they could be to the community by hiring people with disabilities. I think they're missing out on an opportunity that Lowe's is capitalized on, uh, finding those people that have extraordinary gifts and talents, and so they, they can use it for their benefit. They didn't see my disability as much as the other jobs. They seen me as a person, and they wanted to see how I worked and how I improved. If we can all look at everyone individually and say, how can I help you be successful today? This will be a better world, and I know Lowe's will be a better place to work. That's our goal, that's our mission, that's our journey. You can't judge a book by its cover. I mean, if you don't give it a chance, you don't know. You'll never know. Bring it. I'm ready. It was probably one of the finest uh, outcomes that we have seen. And I think that's a validation that says when you're dealing with a trusted partner like NOD, you can be assured that they are going to work hard uh, and work smartly. Good news tonight in the effort to get severely disabled veterans hired in the civilian workforce. In 2007, the U.S. Army asked NOD to design a solution to a growing problem, how to place severely wounded combat veterans into civilian jobs. And I'm proud to announce that of those veterans served by NOD's wounded warrior careers, 70% are now employed or they're receiving education or they're in training. In contrast to this, with the Army Wounded Warrior Program, 
at somewhere in 30 to 40 percent range. So it's double the success rate for NOD. There's a saying in the military that never leave a fellow soldier behind. And that's where I believe in, never leaving a wounded warrior behind. I'm going back to get them, and I'm going to stay with them every step of the way until we get to the end of their career journey. What I hope to do is start a new career, a new path, and uh, to move on forward with my life. I'm proud uh, of NOD's willingness to take on the most difficult task of all, and that's promoting the employment not only of veterans, but veterans with disabilities. And for us, uh, dealing with NOD, whether it has been the Army Wounded Warrior Program, whether it has been the Bridges to Business Program, or whether it has been the surveys that we've done together, they always deliver. And that's the consistency that you see in a trusted partner like NOD. All of these things begin to build a momentum that at some point, I think very, very soon, I'm very optimistic that we are, as a society, ready to tackle this issue, I would say within the next 10 years. We are absolutely confident if employers look beyond the disability, you'd be knocking on our door asking us, where can we find some more people like this? Energetic, committed, accountable, reliable, some of our best employees.